Train Train Maury died last night. His wife wandered by his side. He caught the westbound out of here, up the high irons to the by and by. They say he jumped 10,000 trains, rode a million miles for free, helped out at VA hospitals and penitentiary. Dandy Dave and Rusty Nail and Sweet Lady Sugarcane. Did I Kate and the baloney kid raise their cups tonight in Steam Train's name? Senators and congressmen, puppets on a string, among windswept vagabonds, Steam Train was king. He was the last.
No, when I was young, I used to play in the parking lot of a bar. And um, um, I played, uh, I guess I was 18 or so, in an old gravel parking lot in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, behind a bar called the Brass Rail. And I played John Pryor and Sam Stone, and uh, the veterans from Vietnam were, uh, were um, uh, still uh, reeling from their war experiences. So I'd get these biker veterans that uh, come up and, and listen to me play Sam Stone and then just sort of pound their beer on the counter of the old uh, station wagon I sat on, just on that flat back station wagon, pound their beer and say, play it again, Mary, play it again. So I, I learned a lot about, about songwriting from Sam Stone, especially playing for those veterans. Uh, and, uh, you know, fast forward uh, 40 years and suddenly I'm paired with veterans uh, of, of, of the current conflict and I'm asked to help write their songs and I pulled pretty heavy from Sam Stone. Sam Stone taught me a lot about how to, how to, how to write about a veteran uh, and uh, how, to write, how to write the true story. Even though Sam Stone never existed, that's, that's a fictionalized account of uh, John Prine wrote that song uh, uh, from, from a composite. Well, there was no Sam Stone. He, he told me that uh, he's named the guy Sam Stone because it rhymed with came home. But um, it's a composite and it's a fictional story, but it's the truest, one of the truest stories to come out of the Vietnam era and songwriting. It's emotionally true. And that's something I, I know to do when I'm working with the vets myself is is you don't have to write an exact uh, replica of what happened to them. We're not trying to do journalism here. Uh, we're not testifying in the court of law. What we're trying to do is get to the emotional truth. Sam Stone is, is an, an example of, of profound emotional truth that's access to fiction.